You might not be able to see it, but lawn fungus is already present in many lawns. Strong, healthy grass will fight it off, but if your turf becomes weak from stress, pest damage, or poor upkeep, the fungus or disease won't hesitate to take over. Lawn disease and lawn fungus will create large brown patches, kill grass, or even grow visible mushrooms. So in this video, we'll go over what lawn fungus and lawn diseases are, and what you can do to get rid of them or keep them from growing. You can save on lawn care with DIY products and do it fast with free same-day shipping from Solutions Pest and Lawn. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about lawn care, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Depending on the type of disease or fungus, you may see different symptoms. The grass could turn yellow, brown patches can form, patches of grass may lose color and take a sunken appearance, individual grass blades can form spots or holes, fungal threads or mushrooms can grow, or any other abnormality in appearance can signal that lawn disease has taken over. Disease-causing fungi are almost always present in the soil, waiting for the opportunity to attack. When your grass is properly cared for and maintained, it's often strong enough to resist infection and remain healthy. Once it starts to experience stress or becomes otherwise unkept, your turf becomes at risk for disease development. The following is a short list of common lawn diseases and what they look like. Brown patch is a common and widespread lawn disease that appears like browned, circular patches of grass. Dollar spot creates many smaller, circular patches of discolored grass. Rust is indicated by your grass blades being coated with a distinctive orange-like rust appearance. And powdery mildew coats your grass or other ornamentals leaves with a whitish, powdery fungal substance. It's not uncommon to mistake lawn disease for damage left behind by turf pests, stress caused by environmental or climate conditions, or improper lawn maintenance. A brown patch in your lawn can be caused by the fungus, or it could be caused by grubs eating away the roots of your grass. Sometimes, the appearance of damage or stress is just that, damage or stress, and that's why it's important to be able to identify what you're dealing with. Treating your lawn with one problem in mind won't help your lawn if you're actually dealing with something else, so be sure to check our website for more information regarding specific diseases and how to identify them. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm their presence or find hotspots of activity. After confirming lawn fungus or disease development, you'll need to pinpoint the areas where the disease has taken hold and analyze the lawn conditions that may be helping the fungus to thrive. Inspect areas where your grass is under stress, and also inspect your garden and ornamental plants for signs of disease as well. Stress can include extreme weather conditions, frequent foot traffic, or pest activity. Also, recall your lawn's fertilization history, if any. Your fertilizer's nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium content, or NPK, can actually encourage diseases to develop if it's not the proper ratio of nutrients your lawn needs. As you inspect these areas of turf, your garden plants, and your ornamentals, look for any symptoms of disease. These can vary from discoloration to mold to the appearance of mushrooms. Anything that seems off or unhealthy about a plant should be noted. Note what the weather conditions are when the disease is thriving. Warm season grasses are more vulnerable to disease in cooler weather, and cool season grasses are vulnerable to disease in warmer weather. After identifying your lawn disease and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until dry. To treat and control a lawn disease or fungus developing on your lawn, you'll need to use a fungicide that's labeled for your specific lawn disease or fungus. For most lawn diseases and fungi, we recommend you use Patch Pro Fungicide. Patch Pro is a systemic fungicide that contains the active ingredient propiconazole and is designed to get rid of a broad spectrum of harmful and unsightly diseases on plants and lawns. Patch Pro controls many fungi and diseases such as brown patch, powdery mildew, and blight. If you're actively dealing with a lawn fungus or disease, you'll apply your pesticide directly to affected areas. With Patch Pro, you can also use it preventively and broadcast it over your entire lawn as well. Figure out how much square footage you are treating by measuring the length and width of an area you wish to treat and multiplying them together. If you're treating multiple separate areas, get the square footage of each and add them together. 
Depending on the disease you're treating, you'll mix Patch Pro at a rate of 0.5 to 4 whole fluid ounces per 1,000 square feet. Be sure to double check the product's label for the correct application rate to treat the disease or fungus your lawn has. We recommend you use a 1 gallon handheld pump sprayer to make mixing and application quick and easy. To use a handheld pump sprayer, open the sprayer, add half a gallon of water, and add your measured amount of Patch Pro fungicide. Add the remaining half a gallon, close the sprayer, and shake to ensure an even distribution. Pump your sprayer a few times to produce a low pressure spray. Spray the solution onto the afflicted grass or ornamental plants just until the product drips. For preventive applications, you can broadcast the product over the entire lawn as well. For best results, use a fan spray setting to ensure the blades and leaves are evenly coated. Depending on the severity of your disease, you may need to reapply your fungicide until you stop seeing the presence of the fungus. Reapply at 7 to 14 day intervals two or more times to achieve complete control of the target fungus or disease. For preventive applications, Patch Pro has a residual of 30 days, so you only need to apply monthly for year-round suppression and control. Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. Even after you've applied pesticides, the best way to stop a lawn fungus or disease is to make sure it can't develop. Preventive applications of lawn fungus treatment should be made when environmental conditions are conducive to fungal disease development. Periods of excessive rain, high humidity, seasonal transitions, and an overabundance of nitrogen in the soil are some conditions that are favorable to most turf fungal disease pressure. If any of these conditions exist, this would be a good time to perform preventive applications of systemic fungicide. Feed your lawn with fertilizer to ensure that your soil is not nutrient deficient. A nutrient-rich lawn is better equipped to fight off disease, pests, and weeds. Additionally, deeply water your lawn with at least one inch of water once a week in the morning, and mow your lawn tall to a height of about three to four inches. These things, when done properly, will drive your grass's roots deeper into the soil, strengthening your turf and keeping it healthy to fight off disease. Lawn fungus and disease can grow and overtake a lawn, but there are ways to control an infestation that's gone out of hand. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop lawn fungus and disease from growing in your yard, and we offer same-day shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.